bring you guys with me today I'm going to be making curry chicken um Caribbean cur um, curry chicken now I'm not from the Caribbean my husband is Jamaican so even before meeting him I was cooking a lot of Caribbean meals and 10 years in I'm still cooking a lot of Caribbean meals so there's so many variations of curry chicken but I'm going to show you how I make mine I tend to put a lot of veggies in my dishes just because I love veggies so I'm going to show you what we're going to be working with before I start I already cleaned my chicken I cleaned my chicken with vinegar and salt I've already chopped up my side dish I'm going to be making cabbage with kale that I grew in my garden so I already chopped that up and it's already here and then I already chopped up my veggies and measured out my spices so that way I can be able to tell you exactly how much spices that I'm using because everyone always asks me well exactly how much did you use and usually I'm just kind of like putting a little bit of this putting a little bit of that but I decided to measure everything out so let me show you what I have here that's going to go into the dish be right back okay so here we have the chicken I'm using chicken thighs so I already cut those up and cleaned them again I said I cleaned my chicken with vinegar and salt I chopped up my cabbage and dino kale I'm going to be using coconut milk and I'll add butter beans at the end of the dish. Um, I already chopped up some onions. I like to add okra to my curry chicken. My husband likes okra in it, but you don't have to add that in if that's something you don't like. I like tomatoes as well. That's something that you can exclude as well. I'm using some yellow bell peppers. This is my all-purpose seasoning. This is the one that I use. You can get that from any store or Bravo's. Um, Walmart probably sells it, but any Caribbean store. So that's one teaspoon right there. This is homemade um, sofrito that I made, and it's just a combination of garlic, red pepper, green pepper, uh, any type of sweet pepper they use. And I think I used jalapeno pepper because that was a hot pepper that I had, and a little bit of olive oil and lime juice. Um, tomatoes, of course, you have to have the sazon, and this is my curry season. Okay, so this is one teaspoon of sazon or one packet of sazon, two tablespoons of curry season, and I didn't really measure this out, but this would probably be like three tablespoons of sofrito, and you don't have to use that, but I add that to everything that I'm going to be kind of stewing down. And then I have some chives, or you can use green onions, and thyme. All right, come right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So right now I have my oil heating up on the stove back there. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is add my all-purpose seasoning. That was one teaspoon. And my sazon. I'm going to add that to my chicken. First, I have a little bit of water that that's in here, so I'm going to let that drain out. Let me get it and that was just from when I cleaned it so all right so we're gonna add the all-purpose season and the sazon now if you're having to watch your sodium intake of course that's up to you you need to make sure that you're paying attention to how much sodium that you use because like the all-purpose seasoning that already has sodium and then sazon so you can use a seasoning that doesn't have um, the extra sodium in it but I don't have that problem so this is what we're doing so I'm going to mix all this around just to get all up in there make sure all the seasons on my chicken once my oil warms, warms up what I'm going to do is add the curry seasoning to the oil and let that bubble up for about a minute and then I'm going to brown my chicken so that's what I start off first because you want to have a nice color on your chicken. 
I want to make sure that the skin part goes down first so it gets a nice sear on it. Okay. Let me check my oil. So I think I can add the oil. I'm going to bring you guys over there. Watch this chicken. Let me my hand. Two tablespoons of curry seasoning. Just gonna add that. Then where's my favorite? This is my favorite little utensil that I use. You just wanna mix that around, and it's gonna smell good. You're gonna smell that turmeric in there, that fenugreek in there. So it smells good. Along with that sasson that we added to the chicken. Um. Doing this first, that's going to give that chicken that good color. Now, you can also do it another way. You don't have to add your curry season to the oil, you can just add it to the chicken. But I, I do it both ways, honestly. Because there's other times where I actually add my curry milk I mean, not my curry milk, my coconut milk to the chicken, and then brown it, but I'm not doing that today. I'm going to add that towards the end. So hopefully it's just hot enough. So you hear it, so it's hot enough. And again, I'm going to do inside down. Or if you don't want to use chicken that have bone in, you can just do chicken breast if you're a person that doesn't really care for using chicken with the skin on. Doesn't matter. But this one we have some pieces have bone. I don't I like to take my time and put it in there because I don't want things to be too crowded. brown a little bit and then we'll be right back when it's time to turn it over all right i'm back let's see if it's ready to turn over oh, it has a nice little color on it you don't want them to get too dark This is just to add some color to the chicken. The basis of the cooking is going to be when it's stewing down. So then I also I turned on my water back here. I'm also going to be making white rice. So I'm going to be making two cups of white rice. So I'm going to let that turn on. The cabbage is the last thing that we're going to be cooking once the chicken is stewing down. So let's let that do its thing. All right. Has a nice little color on it. So, we're going to add 
we're gonna add our other veggies. So I just add my onions on there, tomatoes. Add those yellow sweet peppers and my sofrito. The okra I'm gonna wait to maybe like the last 15 minutes. Because you know okra can get really slimy and I don't want the seeds to start coming out uh, in my time. We don't want to forget our time. So the okra and the butter beans I'll add in at the same time. So we're just going to mix that around. And of course, even though I gave you the seasoning that I use, of course, you know Taurus, throughout your dish when you're cooking, you need to do a taste test. So if you taste it and things are a little bit off, add some more seasoning based on, you know, your, your preference. Mix that all around. So my water is heating up back there for the rice. I already rinsed my rice. Do you guys rinse your rice? I mean, some people say it helps get rid of the starch. For me, it tends to make the rice better, less like gooey. And you know what? Rice has always been hit or miss with me. Like, I just started getting good at my rice. My husband makes really good rice. But, I'm the one that cooked the most, so, of course, I had to figure that out. Alright, so. Would you see... All right, so then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add my coconut milk and I'm gonna add a cup of coconut milk and then I'm gonna do maybe like a half a cup to a cup of water and it's gonna steam, it's, it's, you know, it's gonna stew down. And what I had to do because the brand that I got was the Grace and it's, it comes out really, really thick. And if I just was to dump it in there, it'll just be all chunky. So I kind of blend it up just to kind of break down. But I know if you get like the light version, it isn't as, cause you know it's not full of fat like the full fat one. And like I told you, <clears throat> I never make my curry chicken the same. Like it's always, it depends on if what I have on hand. So that's why sometimes you may, I may have okra, I'm gonna have tomatoes, sometimes I don't, it's whatever. I have on hand and there's been times that I have added the coconut milk to the chicken with the season and let it sit in the refrigerator for an hour or two before I cooked it but today I just decided to add it at, at this step to show you guys and see by me blending it up it is it's smooth whereas there was one time where I didn't really pay attention that I had got a different brand and <clears throat> when I put it in there it was so chunky and it, it just didn't look nice. I mean it didn't taste bad but you know the way things look, presentation is everything right? Alright so I'm just going to use this to add the water. I think that's about a half a cup. And then you can keep adding water or you can do chicken broth if you want. I didn't do chicken broth right now just because I haven't tasted it yet. And, you know, unless you bought low sodium chicken broth, then you're just adding more sodium. So I'd rather add water and then add seasoning as I go along. So we're going to let that stew down a little bit. We put the lid on and then add our rice. All right, be right back. Alright, we're back. Let me turn this chicken down to medium setting. Uh, this is the butter that I'm using. You can use whatever you have. So that's about, what, a tablespoon? Uh, I started out with two cups of water. Let's see what it says. I mean, not two, four cups of water. And two cups of jasmine rice. Of course, use whatever rice you like. I don't like short grain rice. I prefer long grain rice, so I usually buy jasmine rice. I've already rinsed and cleaned the rice. So right now, it's on high. I add 
we added one tablespoon of butter. We need to add some salt. You gotta give your rice some flavor, right? I'm not measuring this, okay? I already have some salt in here. We're gonna do a little this, a little that, a little that. We good. When I see a bowl, when it comes to a bowl, then I'm gonna change it down to number four. So what I do, cause like I told y'all in the past, my rice has been hit or miss. So what I pay attention to what my husband does, he starts it out on high, then he turns it down to about a medium or a four. He lets the water evaporate out, okay? To when you can kind of like move it and you don't see any water around the rice. Then he turns the eye off, put the lid on, and let it steam out. When I do that, I get bomb rice. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I see it, it's come to a boil, so I'm gonna turn it down to a four. Keep my eye on it. Once I see the water evaporate, then put it, turn it off and move it over. Put the lid on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna start on the cabbage while this is going. Be right back. Right. I want you to see how the chicken is looking. Ooh, All right, so it's stewing down. I don't want to forget adding my chives. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna start on the cabbage. And what I'm doing in between when I'm pausing for you guys, I'm washing dishes. I do not let dishes pile up when I'm cooking. That was one thing my mom always taught me. Who else does that? Because the worst thing is when you're done cooking and you're ready to eat, at least for me, I can't sit down and eat if my kitchen is dirty. So even if everybody starts eating, I'm usually the last one to sit down and eat. But you also want to spend that quality time with your family. So that's why I make sure that I'm cleaning in between cooking. That way, I don't have that much to do when I am done cooking, right? Makes sense to me. All right, so we're gonna do some butter. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of butter. And I like this one because it's soy free, vegan, and it's good. But hey, I still use regular butter. It's just what I'm using because it's easy to scoop out. So I have to be careful with this eye right here because this eye is, I guess, for like when you're boiling water, like doing pasta real fast, so it heats up really quick. So I'm going to do this. They only give you two options, two, four, and a six, so we're going to do four. Let the butter melt. What I'm going to do is, once the butter melts, I'm going to add the cabbage with the kale. Put the lid on. Let it steam down first, because then when I first put it in, it's going to be super fluffy. Once it steams down a little bit, then it's easier for me to turn. And... With my cabbage, I don't really do too many seasons. It's just some salt and some pepper, and that's it. Because cabbage, it already has some really good flavor. And you know, cabbage is really good for you. It's full of water, so you don't want to overshadow those good benefits of the water that comes with the cabbage um, with a bunch of sodium. You already want to have all those different flavors, you know, with the chicken. So, see, this is already melting down really fast. Still have a good amount of water over here with our rice, so we want that to be down before we turn that off. All right, so let me get the cabbage. Another thing that I like to add, but I don't have any, is um, that's why I added the kale this time. I like to add green beans with my cabbage, and my kids love it, even the older kids. You know, kids can be picky when it comes to veggies, but everybody always loves my cabbage. So you see how full it is? So I don't even try to store it when I first put it in, because then you just have cabbage all over the place. So It's just like when you have a bunch of spinach. And then once you start cooking that spinach, you start out with like four cups of spinach, and when you're done, you got a tablespoon of spinach. That just makes me so angry, but I don't even bother eating spinach unless it's fresh because I just feel so defeated once it's done and I'm like, this is all I got. Alright, so we're going to let that steam down and then when it's time to turn it, then I'll come back with you guys, okay? 
Oh my God, why didn't y'all remind me? Good thing the ancestors, they whispered in my ear. I almost forgot to add Scotch Bonnie Pepper. Like what? It's not Corey Chicken and got a little heat, right? Add some stuff on it. Chicken. Ooh. I actually could have added that in there when I first started. Now, if you know you don't like spice, don't do this. Okay, this is just what we like over here. I just cut like two little pieces. And while I'm doing this, I guess I can add my chives. Oh, don't mind that little person. That's just my son. I'm here trying to film a video, man. You just all up in the video. Right. And you can add green onion if that's what you have. I have green onion, but I didn't feel like walking across the backyard. This was closer. It was right on the tower garden. So that's what we're working with right now. I add scallion to everything. And chive is becoming one of my favorites as well. So I'm looking at the rice and I can see that that water is evaporating out. But I, so it's almost ready for us to turn off and let it steam out. Alright, there we go. Soon it'll be time to add our okra and our butter beans. So I see a little bit. Oh, it's not going to be burning. Oh, Lord. Let me rinse this off real fast. See, I told y'all with this. Okay, we okay. I thought I was turning it. This eye cooks so hot. But good thing with cabbage is letting out water. Alright, so now it's easier for me to stir. I see my rice. What I'm gonna do is which one is the back? I'm gonna turn that off. I like to add a piece of oil. Put that on top. Put the lid on. Bam, move that out of the way. Okay, let's add some water to our cabbage. You can add water, you can add, add some chicken broth if you want more flavor. You know what? Instead of salt, we're going to do adobo. Okay? Because they got garlic, salt, black pepper, oregano. Okay? Let's just do that. And I ain't measuring this, so let's say half a teaspoon. And again, you, you taste it and you season it to your preference. Don't be like, oh, I added half a teaspoon and it was bland. That's what Nora said. Okay, if you need it with more flavor, then you add a little bit more. Don't blame it on me. Or don't say, oh, I added half a teaspoon and it was too salty. Because then if you feel it's too salty, then that means you clearly don't season your food good. Don't blame it on me. You just don't have no flavor, okay? So let's see. I don't like soggy cabbage, but I like a, still some crunch. Add more. And when I was looking for my scotch bonnet pepper, because I keep them in the freezer, look what I found. Because I told y'all I like to add green beans. So 
this is like a trio we call it prince edward it has carrots uh like the yellow green beans and the regular green beans so we're gonna still add that we're gonna add let's do that the more veggies the better water because this eye right here it cooks really high mm. and I'm gonna add another tablespoon of butter to this not going to lift the lid on that rice yet because we want that to steam down a little bit. Alright, so while y'all here, we're going to add the steam. Add our okra. I'm going to drain the butter beans just because I still got a good, a good amount of liquid in here. So let me drain these. I usually like to keep it, but... this cook for another 20 minutes and then everything should be done the rice should be steamed the cabbage will be done um and then i'll plate it and show you guys the finishing product okay all right guys everything is done before i plate it i just wanted to show you all right so this is our curry chicken The moment of truth. I told y'all that my rice used to be hit or miss. Used to. But I got this. Alright. What? What I told you? What? Oh, oh, oh. Look at that fluffy rice. Okay. Alright. And my cabbage is done. Alright. So I'll plate it and get back with you guys. Oh, I wanted to show y'all this. You want your rice, see? It's fluffy. So fluffy! So fluffy! If y'all got kids, y'all know what movie I'm talking about. Alright, guys. It's been plated. This is my hubby's plate. And thank you for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Um, I would add everything with measurements that I use in the description. Thank you for joining me.